Welcome to Nightline for Monday, October 11th, 2021. I'm Carolina Suero. And I'm Carol Saco with your school news and announcements for Jose Marti Mass 6 through 12 Academy. The club fair will take place on Friday, October 15th during lunchtime in the Spillout area. Please stop by to see what clubs are offered at Jose Marti Mass. High school students, the P PSAT is scheduled for Wednesday. Please check your email for details about the test. Have you lost a water bottle or lunch bag or something else? Your lost item may be in the lost and found in the office. Visit the office and see if your lost item has been found. After school math tutoring for middle school students continues. Tutoring will be available Monday with Ms. De La Vega in room 1301, Wednesday with Ms. Henderson in room 1328, and Thursday with Ms. Garcia in room 1316. Tutoring hours are from 2.30 to 4 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For today's Hispanic Heritage Bunch feature, we learn more about the math teacher, Jamie Escalante. Jaime Alfonso Escalante Gutierrez was born on December 31st, 1930 in La Paz, Bolivia. He was born to two teachers, so his eventual pursuit in education seemed evident. He had earned his teaching degree and had began to teach math and physics within Bolivia. After teaching for 12 years, he had immigrated to the United States to continue pursuing teaching. However, after arriving at his new high school, he had realized that teaching his students the necessary skills in mathematics would be a lot harder than he had previously thought. Through determination and perseverance, Escalante had pushed his students to take higher level mathematics classes most notably AP Calculus, within the high school while the students had only known elementary algebra at best. He had pushed his students to take higher level mathematics and had been successful in having multiple students pass the AP Calculus exam, despite their lack of knowledge in maths previously. Escalante's dedication to his students and emphasis on learning had allowed him to be awarded the Presidential Medal for Excellence in Education and had been inducted into the National Teachers Hall of Fame. Although Escalante died on March 30th, 2021 at 79 years old, his legacy as an excellent educator should not be forgotten. Thank you. Lanyards for your identification cards are on sale for only $3 in room 1101 during your lunchtime. Music and Film Appreciation Club is meeting today in room 1210 at 2.30 after school. The Green Club will hold its next meeting on Friday, October 15th after school in room 2105. It's not Hello, a bank holiday anymore, Galvin but today commemorates an important figure in world history. Hello, my name is Anthony Galvez and today I'll be doing an information package on Columbus Day. Who is Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus was an Italian-born explorer who set sail in August of 1492, bound for Asia with backing up from the Spanish monarchs of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. Aboard the ships of La Niña, La Pinta, La Santa Maria, Columbus intended to chart a western sea route to China and India for their gold and spices. Instead, on October 12, 1492, he landed in the Bahamas, becoming the first European to explore the Americas. In March of 1493, he returned to Spain with triumph, bearing the gold and spices and all the Indian captives, quote-unquote Indians. The explorer crossed the Atlantic in several more times before his death in 1506. It wasn't on his third journey until he realized that he had not reached Asia but a region unknown to the Europeans. The first time Columbus Day was celebrated in the U.S. was in 1792, when New York's Columbian Order began organizing annual religious ceremonies and parades in his honor. In 1892, President Benjamin Harrison issued a proclamation encouraging Americans to mark the 400th anniversary of Columbus's voyage with patriotic festivities. In 1937, President FDR proclaimed Columbus Day as a national holiday, largely as a result of intense lobbying by the Knights of the Columbus, which is an influential Catholic fraternal organization. Since 1937 and on, this day has been celebrated all over the U.S. as a national official holiday. 
Controversy over Columbus Day dates back to the 19th century, when an anti-immigrant group in the United States rejected the holiday because of its association with Catholicism. Also, Native Americans have protested the celebration of an event that resulted in the colonization of the Americas, the beginning of the slave trade, and the deaths of millions by murder or disease. European settlers brought a host of infections and diseases such as smallpox, influenza, and much more. In many Latin American countries, the anniversary of Columbus's landing has been traditionally observed as La Día de la Raza, or Day of the Race, a celebration of Hispanic culture and diverse roots. In 2002, Venezuela renamed the holiday La Día de la Resistencia Indígena, or Day of the Indigenous Resistance, to recognize the native peoples and their experiences. Several of the U.S. states have replaced Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Days. States such as Alaska, Hawaii, Oregon, Colorado, Arizona, and California celebrate Indigenous Peoples Days. Thank you. Come dress down for free on Tuesday, October 12th in support of bullying prevention clothing. Bullying prevention. Clothing must follow MDCPS dress code rules. Shorts, skirts, leggings, crop tops, and dresses will not be permitted. Consequences will be given if you are not in compliance. That's it for us today. Have a great day.